his great and undying love for his country, Robert Hyde spent a large portion of his life away from his beloved family, serving his country during three wars and in two different branches of the military. Whereas Robert Hyde's military career bank began as a field medic under the command of General George S. Patton, United States Army, deployed from 1943 to 1945. Whereas during World War II and the Korean War, field medics were not issued rifles but were given a medical bag and a sidearm. Whereas during his service as a World War II medic, Robert Hyde was shot in the lake. Whereas Robert Hyatt was honorably discharged from the Army on November 20th, 1945. Whereas Robert Hyatt re-enlisted the Army's 8,055 8, MASH unit as a frontline field medic in serving Korea from July 4th, 1915 until July 14th, 1951. Whereas during his time, Robert Hyatt was stabbed by the, by the enemy with a bayonet while providing medical aid to a dying soldier. Whereas after recovering from his injury, Robert Hyatt served two tours of duty in Okinawa from 1950 to 1952 and finished out his tour of duty stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, where he worked in the military hospital as an anesthesiologist until his honorable discharge on March 20, 1953. Whereas upon his discharge from the Army in 1953, Robert immediately enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. Whereas Robert Hyatt's last tour of duty was in Vietnam, where he worked directly with the expansion of the Da Nang Air Base by 2,350 acres with two 10,000-foot asphalt runways with concrete touchdown pads, parallel taxiways, and a heliport. Whereas 20 years of active duty, United States military that spanned four continents included two significant combat entries and several accommodations, including five bronze service stars, Sergeant Robert Hyatt was transferred from the United States Marine Corps to the Fleet Marine Corps Reserve on July 15, 1966, whereas Robert Hyatt traveled the world before returning home to Indiana to start his own family, whereas Robert worked as a security guard for several businesses in Indiana and Illinois. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Hyatt, what an honor to have you uh, here. Chair recognizes Representative Price for discussion on the House concurrent resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and members of the House. Uh, first, as I've met Mr. Hyatt, it's been an honor. I uh, met him in Franklin and learned a little bit about his family through a good friend of the family, John Wells, and his son David. And his family has collectively over 60 years of service between the Army, the Air Force, and the Marines. So they're a true servant's heart and serving uh, for our freedom of our country. I'm truly honored to have the opportunity to recognize Robert Hyatt for his sacrifices and bravery. Mr. Hyatt has shown dedication and respect to his country, state, and fellow citizens. He took great courage to continue serving our nation despite two major combat injuries. Mr. Hyatt is a true American hero in all aspects. He has proven time and time again his willingness to put others before himself and be the aid of others that needed it. Mr. Hyatt served in World War II and the Korean War as a member of the United States Army and the Vietnam War as a member of the United States Marines. As a field medic, he put himself in harm's way, armed only with a medic's bag and a sidearm. I humbly thank him for his 20 plus years of service, and I am personally moved by this man's generous character. He is a true Hoosier hero.
for the discussion on the concurrent resolution. Person Price. Mr. Speaker, I have another award that was uh, from the governor, if it may present some time. Please.